Hello my friends and welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, welcome. Um, today, as you can see from the title, we're going to review the new Natasha Denona Biba palette. Um, it's the mini. Um, this just came yesterday. I ordered it as soon as it became available and shockingly, Sephora sent it out like right away. So um, it did come yesterday, but I, I just had like a bit of a headache yesterday. I don't know why, but I just wasn't up for filming it, but I did want to get it up because I see everybody else is getting their videos up and I ordered it right away so I could do um, this uh, review for you. So it is Christmas Eve, it's Christmas Eve morning and it is pouring and cold here, pouring rain and cold here in Arizona. Um, so yeah, it's really crazy. Um, unfortunately, hopefully it will clear up um, I always feel like it rains at the wrong times here. <laughs> I don't know. But anyway, um, hopefully that clears up and we can um, have a really nice day. I did hear we do have rain all day today and tomorrow. So we'll see what happens. Um, anyway, got the ugly Christmas sweater on and ready to film. And I just wanted to give you a close up of this palette. Um, I don't have the large Biba palette. I know that a lot of people have it and love it. Um, I don't have it. I really didn't want, it's a very pretty palette, but I didn't want a, a large palette of all neutrals. And I think they're mattes, even though they're like her special formula and so forth. But I know people are a huge fan of that palette. Um, anyway, she did like a little story and she was kind of teasing us with her new mini and trying to get us to figure out which one she was doing. Um, and it was pretty easy to figure out and, you know, it happened to be the mini Biba. So, um, nonetheless, I did pick up the mini of that. And then she also released this little mini, um, blush and this looks really good it's a little it's really mini it's super cute really easy to throw into your makeup bag and it's a rose is the name of it so um and i'm trying i tried not to watch anybody's reviews i see a lot of reviews going up and i don't want to be tainted by the uh people that i normally watch um, on YouTube because I do like to see what they think of it and I really you know I'm kind of anxious to see what they think of it so I didn't want to be tainted by you know what you know what their thoughts were behind it I really just want my own opinion on this to give to you so um, I did do my face I did everything except lips blush and eyeshadow so Let's just get started here. Um, anyway, I hope you guys are doing something fun today for uh, Christmas Eve. Um, I love Christmas. It's one of my favorite holidays, if not the favorite holiday. And for me, I feel like Christmas starts on Christmas Eve. And then Christmas Day is, you know, it's like a two-day thing for me. Um, but really I, I, I always enjoyed Christmas Eve more because that's, you know, that's like when we would celebrate it, you know, growing up. And, um, so, uh, so that, you know, but nonetheless, it, it almost doesn't feel like Christmas. It's, it's kind of weird. I don't know. <laughs> but anyway, I'm also on vacation. I've been on vacation since last week and I'll be on vacation until after the first, um, of January. So that's good. I got to take a sip of my coffee here. It's really early in the morning and I really wanted to get this video up. So this is kind of early for me. I usually film much later. Um, okay. So I think what I'm going to do is <clears throat> I'm going to start out by doing this shade right here and I'm sure the shades are listed on the back here, but they blend in um, with, with this beige colored plastic. So 
it's there's only five shades here so i'm not going to be able to shout out the shades to you but um let's go ahead and let me see how dark this is yeah that's fine i mean i'll give you swatches at the end um so i'm just gonna put this all over my lid and we're only going to do one lip because I, I really don't want the video to be too long. Um, but so far, and I'm using a, a refer number two. I like this brush to put eyeshadow all over my eyelids. Um, so it's interesting the way that went on. It didn't, um, it's not, I don't know if this is like one of her special formula mats, and I'm, I apologize that I don't have that information, but I know she has like these cream to powders, and some people are not a fan of them, but it's, I could tell you that I do have um, an eyeshadow primer on. I have the one that, one of my faves that I, I always talk about, the Fenty. And it's not dry, but it's not one of those shadows that goes on. It's not like silky, like where it goes on really uh, smooth, but I am able to build it up a little bit. And I have um, semi-hooded eyes, so I do like to go up a little bit more above my eye, above my crease. So that kind of pops out. So when I relax my eyes, you can kind of see. Um, do any of you have hooded eyes? Do you have issues like trying to do eyeshadow sometimes? Sound off um, in the comments. I'd love to hear whatever your, your tips and tricks are. Okay, so I'm not... I'm not really loving the way that shadow is, is blending out. So I'm going to switch it up and go to a 14 refer. Okay, so this is a little bit, yeah, this is blending out easier now. It's a little, it might have been the brush. The brush might have been too dense for the formula of that shadow. Okay, and I'm just filling in. So that's how we're looking so far. Um, I think the next thing I wanna do, I don't really think you can do too many looks with, with this palette. Um, it's very, it's just very neutral. Um, so I think what I'll do next is I'll go in with this shade here there's this really dark one on the end, and then there's this one. It looks really pretty. Um, so let's give this one a shot and see what happens. I think I'm going to try to blend this one into my crease to deepen it up a little bit. And... This is the eye that I did it on, so you can kind of see how it's. So, so far, it's, you know, it's performing just like her others. I mean, her, I love her eyeshadows. I have, <clears throat> excuse me, nearly all of her mini eyeshadows. I mean, I just, I really like them a lot. And if you don't want to think too much about what you're going to do with a look, um, they're pretty easy to work with. Okay, so that's how we're looking there. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a refer number three, <clears throat> and I'm going to take that same... color, that same shade, which is the not quite the darkest brown shade. And I'm just running it. I'm just running it under my eye there.
and you can see that it's blending out with ease. Put a little bit more. And then I think <clears throat> what I'll do is I'll take this deepest shade on the end here. I'm really trying to use every shade, except I'm not probably not gonna use that peach one. And I'm just putting that on the outer part. You could see how much deeper that is. And I'm just gonna bring that in. Now the problem that I have, you know, having semi-hooded eyes is, and I'm gonna have to go over this because of it, is the shades that I kind of used underneath, they sort of disappear a little bit. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this brush, this is like one of my favorite blender brushes, and I'm just gonna I'm just going to blend this part right here to soften it. And then I'm going to go back in with that, that lighter shade. Or maybe what I'll do is I'll try this peach shade right here. And I'll just go over the top and blend that out. My uh, girl Chihuahua is in the room, in my glam room with me. So if you hear the little, <laughs> that's her nails on the floor. Um, okay. So I like that. I like that that kind of lightened the top of it. So, and then I'm just going to go back in again with this brush and I'm just going to buff that out. Okay. So I'm going to try, I never do cut creases, but I'm going to try to do kind of like a cut crease just to kind of pop my lids. So I'm just using this pinky rose hip hop. Um, it's supposed to be like a like a regular eyeshadow, like a cream eyeshadow. I got this in a um, in a, um, a a boxy charm, and I actually like using this not as an eyeshadow, <clears throat> but like <clears throat> excuse me, um, but as like a um, like an eyeshadow base because it's so it's so dry that it kind of like, I think it works well that way. So now I want to go into <clears throat> this shade here, which is like a shimmer. Let me give you a little swatch there. So you can see, it's very pretty. I mean, it went on really, it, it was very silky, very smooth. So I'm just going to go ahead and see if I can find, find my packer brush. <laughs> and I can't. Oh, here it is. Let me clean this off. This is the number 21, Refer 21 Packer Brush. And okay, so there's the shimmer. Oh, 
That's pretty. I think that really um, opened up my eyes because these shades are kind of dark for me. So, um, I mean, they're very pretty and I really, I really like the palette, but I have to sometimes with my eyelids, you know, with my eye shape, I have to just do that. I just went in, I didn't even go back in and put any more, um, eyeshadow on. I just took one of the brushes that had some pigment on it and I went back into the crease, uh, just to deepen that up a little bit. I'm going to take this little wet wipe here. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm sorry about my throat, but I've had a sinus infection and <clears throat> it's clearing up. So I'm just um, having some trouble here with my <laughs> throat. Um, okay. So what do we think? I think it looks good. Um, I think what I'll do now is I'm going to use this Tarte Double Take. And I'm going to use the brown. And I'm just going to line the inside of my eyes. Just to kind of deepen that up a little bit. I've been doing this a lot with my eye looks. Just to kind of, you know, kind of make it a little more, um like blown out and then I'm just going to go in to the top with the liquid liner I like to do this because I heard that it gives it makes your eyelashes look more like filled in and like dense so even though I have like semi-hooded eyes and I find like this one is pretty easy to work with. So highly recommend that. Okay. I'm trying to move quickly here with this look. So um, <clears throat> this Bite Beauty is finally getting a little dried out. So this is uh, one of the ones I scored during the sale. It was like one of those little mini kits. Um, and I love this Bite Beauty mascara, so I've got a backup of this, and then I got that mascara set that they had at Sephora, so I'm going to probably cash my little thing in for a full size for the Bite Beauty, just because I surprisingly really liked this mascara, so, um... Very easy to use, fills in. And again, I'm moving really quickly here on this look. Okay, so got the eye look finished. And that's how we're looking. <clears throat> and now we're gonna try the cheek products. So this is called the Rose Cheek Duo. I'll give you a swatch. Ooh, that feels nice. It's like a creamy blush. So I thought that was pretty because I don't really have anything like this. Like I don't, I don't um, normally, I usually go for like pinky or mauvey shades. And I felt like this was different. So let's try to do this with a brush and see what happens. Hmm. I think I've got to do this. I just wanted to try it that way for you guys so you can see. Um, what it looks like, but let's, I had to put some on with my finger. Yeah, see now it's starting to come out. Okay, so it's really pretty. 
It's very light. She wants to get out. Hold on one second. Come on. Go ahead. Go ahead, baby. Go ahead. I'm trying to be quiet because my husband is sleeping, so I had the door shut and she wanted to be in here with me, but then she wanted to get out, so, okay. So, you can build this blush up. Um, if you're familiar with Natasha's cheek products, um, they're very forgiving. I mean, you don't, you don't necessarily get like, unless it's a very dark shade, like one of her, I think the Bloom um, Quad, there's a dark shade in there and that one, but even that one blends out. So um, you can see that I just basically dab this on and then I use the back of this sponge to kind of blend it in. And that's how I like to use her products. Using the brush didn't do anything. So um, so that's the uh, Rose Cheek product. And now let's do, finally, we're going to do the, um, let me just clean this off. Maybe I should try using, let me try using my new rougher brush. <clears throat> that I got this for. This is the purpose of this brush. Um, this is a number 20. It's a fan brush. And I got it to put, you know, highlights on. Yeah, this is powdery. So this should work with the brush. I'll give you a swatch. So you can see it there. It's very pretty. I mean, it's not... You know, it's not going to be blinding, at least I don't think. So let's see how this goes on. And this is the first time I'm using this brush, too, so. Okay, there we go. It's starting to come out now. Okay, well, this is really pretty because it's not, it's not super blinding, but it's got punch, if that makes sense. A little bit here on the tip of the nose. Yeah, so you can see that a little bit here and I'll put a little bit on my forehead, a little down the center. I don't usually do the center of my nose, but I notice that Babs Beauty does that a lot, but she also contours her nose. So <laughs> um, I wanna get good at that contouring, so. What do you guys think? I think it looks nice. I, I do like it. Um, I think it's, I think this is a very subtle look. And I think that that is, if that's what you're going for, I mean, they all, they're co this is a very cohesive look. So um, let's go ahead and wipe off, I'm gonna wipe off the, I have the Nabla Lip Plumper on. And I got a new, um, if you don't know, Sephora is doing 20% off um, sale items. And so I picked up a few things from their sale. And one of them is the, the cinnamon, um, the cinnamon, this is the Melted Matte from the Cinnamon Collection, Cinnamon Bun is the name of it. So I think it's a really pretty shade. I'm not a huge fan of their uh, liquid lips because I find them to be a bit drying, but 
they really stay on and so I might just throw a gloss over it. Um, and then I'm using the Huda. This is the Honey Beige liner that I picked up during the sale. And I have to tell you, I love this lip liner. It is so nice. It's so easy to use. And I think it'll go really well with this liquid lip. And I think this will go good with this look. So let's see. Oh yeah. I think it was Leah Janae that did, she reviewed the palette and then she also put this on. And she and I have similar coloring, like similar, she's a blonde and um, I think I'm, my skin tone is a little deeper than hers because I have an olive uh, undertone and I wear more of a medium um, uh foundation but you know but there's other similarities in in like we have the same hair shade and stuff and it looks so nice on her so I was like oh when that goes on sale I'm getting it <laughs> so um if you haven't been in that uh checked out Sephora's uh extra 20 percent off and you want this uh pick this up it's really a good deal I also heard that um too Faced is doing 75% off on their website. I always like to tell you guys about the sales. Um, and they had, um, I picked up the, the Cinnamon Swirl palette. I got mine at like Ulta. It was practically half off, but it's 75% off at Too Faced. I don't know if the sale is still going on or if they still have any in stock, but it's definitely worth looking into anyway if you want any of those products from Too Faced release. Anyway, the star of the show being Natasha Denona. So I really like these. I mean, for me, um, I'm going to rate this like a 10. I mean, you know, it's not necessarily a color story that I would pick. I don't, I'm not really uh, a big neutral fan. I mean, I don't mind having a couple of neutral palettes in, in my collection, but I like to have, um, I, I guess I tend to gravitate more towards colorful shades um but this is um i think anybody could really wear this because it's neutral and i do like um the color story and i do think you know you probably could do a couple of different looks with it you might be able to go a little bit lighter and just use like these two shades and maybe this one in the middle or you could go really dark and put like one of these all over your lid and then maybe do a pop of color, you know, right in the center. I mean, there are different looks that you can do with this, especially if you're more talented than I am with eyeshadow. So, but I like it and I really, and I, I love these little, I have a, I think I have one other one. I think I have like the bronze glow one that, that one of these little palettes and they're great to travel with. And, you know, I never go through uh, blushes and highlights anyway. And that's kind of why I picked this up. And I didn't have a color, I didn't have um, blush in this shade. Do I have something that might be similar or very close? Probably, but I thought it was different enough. And, you know, it's very, in my opinion, it's affordable. Um, you know, you're not buying one of her big ones. Uh, so if you wanted to give it a try, if you're not familiar with her formula. But anyway, I'm just going to throw on a little bit of the All Nighter Glow just to set everything down. I really like this. I've been I've been using this a lot. I'll put the rest of what I have on my face down in the description box so um, you can see. And I'm gonna take these out. And these are great, these little, I just picked these up and they don't make dents in your hair if you wanna pull your hair back. So, um, but this is the finished look, guys. I, um, I hope that, um, you know, if you're interested in it, this helped you decide if you want to get it, um, either one of them or both products. Um, and, uh, yeah, I just want, really wanted to review these and, um, you know, you could tell, you could see if this is something that you might be interested in. So anyway, just want to wish you a happy, 
holidays. Uh, Merry Christmas. I hope you have a great time with your family and friends or whatever way you choose to celebrate the next two days. And I really thank you so much for being here and spending time with me and watching the video. And um, if you're not subscribed yet, I'd love to have you be part of the family. Hit that like button before you leave. Leave a comment down below. Are you gonna get any of these products? What do you think? Um, I'd love to hear from you. So um, I'll see you guys soon and have an awesome day.